You remember? Put it in, and then turn it on. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I am a special needs mom to Autumn who has Down syndrome and autism. And I'm also a fit mom, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I am so excited to share today Autumn cooking. She absolutely loves cooking and this is the first time she will be using the air fryer, so stay tuned for that. You guys, this dog is crazy. I'm literally just trying to empty the dishwasher and he's like, mom, no, I wanna be right here with you. I want to lick off all the water. <laughs> boo boo, why are you so crazy? And then I'll put him down and he'll just jump right back up there. You are such a puppy and that can't be good for you. We're going to get down again, okay? Say no, 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 no. Even though you're so cute, you're so cute. The cutest puppy I ever did see. The cutest puppy I ever did see, huh, boo boo? Are you a good boy? Okay, so today I'm gonna make two different kinds of French toast for breakfast. I'm gonna make French toast for my kids with this bread, and then I'm gonna make French toast for myself, which is a little lighter and a lot less calories. So I'll show you that with you guys. Okay, so the version I'm making for my kids, I'm gonna use two, pla two packets of sugar, cinnamon, and heavy cream, and two eggs. I would really like to have vanilla extract for this, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna make it without. Okay, so I ended up adding three eggs because I'm going to make four slices and I know I'm gonna probably, I might even be able to make six slices, so make some for Andy as well. Okay, so I did preheat this ahead of time, so I'm gonna spray it with some Pam. And then I'm going to place it into the air fryer. I'm gonna to try to fit four slices, but I don't know if I can fit four slices, we'll see. Okay, so we're going to put it in at 400 for five minutes, and then we're gonna flip it and do three to five minutes. All right, so just ended, and I'm going to flip it over. I haven't made this for them yet, but I've made it for myself and you guys, it's unbelievably delicious. So we're gonna do it another three minutes. I'm gonna try three minutes and see how it comes out. And if it needs longer, I'll do one more minute. All right, it just ended. I think it's done. You guys, it might not look good, but I'm telling you it is amazing because it is so crunchy. It is seriously so good. I'm gonna top it with some powdered sugar and some syrup and it'll be you good You guys might already know this hack, but I cut all of my kids' stuff with a pizza cutter into pieces. It makes it so much easier. I actually learned this when we used to have that show, John and Kate Plus 8. <laughs> she used to do that on that show. <laughs> and there you have it. It is absolutely delicious. We'll see if Autumn will eat it because this is not her normal breakfast, but Saturdays I usually make something special anyways. What do you think, Autumn? Is it good? Mm. I know I don't usually make this for breakfast, so I'm glad that you're trying it. What do you think? Autumn, it's good? Mm. Two thumbs up? <laughs> I think she likes it. She's actually eating it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you like a lighter version that I'm gonna make for myself. I'm gonna add some pumpkin, I'm gonna add cinnamon, I'm gonna add pumpkin spice. I'm also gonna add a packet of Splenda, and in here is two servings of egg whites. And if I had vanilla, I would add a teaspoon of vanilla, but I don't have any vanilla. Okay, so for my lower calorie version, this is the bread I'm using, which is only 40 calories a slice. And this is the mixture, and I'm going to mix the bread in it and put it in the air fryer for the same amount of time I did the other one. So while my French toast is cooking, I'm actually gonna make some turkey bacon as well. All right, so 
So it just ended and I'm gonna flip it and do another three minutes. Oh, it looks fabulous, guys. It looks so crunchy. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, the die for, I tell you. All right, so I also have some sugar-free syrup, which I did measure out, and I am gonna cut up my French toast, like so, like I did for my kids. And I'm gonna dip, I like to dip my stuff and sort of pour it on top, because that's just how I roll. I'm also gonna do probably like 30, maybe 100 grams of strawberries to go with this. And there you have it, my breakfast. I will show you, share with you guys how much calories it is too. I've actually tasted this before, but not with the pumpkin. And it was amazing, like game changing. Mmm, it's so crunchy. That's what makes it so good. I wish you guys could hear the crunch. Mmm, so good. Okay, so me and Autumn are going to make some low calorie muffins inside the air fryer. We're gonna use one can of pumpkin. We're gonna use one cookie mix. This is a double chocolate chunk. It's delicious. And that's it, those are the only two ingredients we're gonna use. We're gonna put them into our mini muffin pan. We're gonna use this and we're gonna mix it up. All right, so I'll take this. We're gonna go like that and we're gonna squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, good job. Okay, now we're gonna take this here and we're gonna turn. Can you turn? Show me how you do it. I know you can do it all by yourself. Good job. Because we gotta squeeze it at the same time, so it's kind of hard. Here, you keep going. Keep going this way. There you go. Nope, other way. Keep going, you got it. One more time. Can you go again? <laughs> Woo, you got it! Heck bye. Okay, we got it open. Now we're gonna put this in here, okay? <laughs> so we gotta take this out, wait, okay, wait a second, I gotta get a fork. I gotta close this door because it's so loud. Okay. Wait. Oh, good job. Careful, careful, careful. There we go. I know you've probably done this. It's cold. Okay, you want to take it out? Okay. Take it out again. Okay, hold, hold the can with this hand. Out. There you go. I know you can do it. You're good at this, girlfriend. Look at you go. Good job, Autumn. Woo! -hoo! You're getting the hang of it. Okay, you want me to help? You got mostly all of it. Good job. Okay, can you wash your hands? Oh God, Because you got a little bit of pumpkin on your hands. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take the scissors. Hold the bowl with this hand. 
These are gonna be low calorie muffins, okay? Good. You know the muffins that mommy makes? They're gonna be low calorie muffins and we're gonna do them in the air fryer so it's gonna be different, okay? Can you say muffin? Mm. Muffin. You're doing awesome. All right, did we get it all mixed up? Does it look good? Show me, show me. Good. Yeah, good job. All right, I think it's good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse these off and we're gonna use the scooper, okay? And we're gonna put it in. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Mommy has to help. First, we gotta spray this a little bit with some cooking spray, okay? So, we're gonna spray this. Okay. Now, you gotta put it in. And then squeeze it. There you go. Put it in. And then squeeze it. There you go. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Good job. Hold on. Squeeze it. And we're gonna leave the middle one empty because it doesn't come out good in the cooker, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go put it in the air fryer, okay? Oh, Let's put a couple more chocolate chips on the top, okay? So wait. Sides are hot, okay? Good job. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna close it, okay? Push. And we're gonna press this. We're gonna go to 350. This and go to 12. And push. Good. Good. Now push it. There you go. Okay, wash your hands, okay? Okay, show mommy. Music, please. Do you want Beatles? Okay, mommy will turn it on for you. Alexa, play the Beatles. I gotta go get Benny, he's still upstairs. The muffins are all done, do you wanna help? Or no? Okay, say no, thank you. I'll do it by <laughs> myself then. They turned out amazing. I'm gonna finish this batch. It looks so good. I know that they're gonna be delicious. Like which one you want? You want one of the big ones? You want this one? Okay, which one? That one. Okay, take it. I want you to eat it. Oh, looks like one of the chocolate chips fell off. <laughs> you can tell me, is it good or not? You gotta sit in your spot. What do you think? Is it good? <laughs> Two thumbs up good? <laughs> yeah, looks like you like it. They're nice and warm inside, so they have lots of chocolate. You love chocolate, huh? I wanted to show you guys the inside. It's so delicious. And it's so melty and good. Oh my God. I was gonna show you guys how I clean mine, especially when I make burgers because it gets really gross. As I add water and I also just add some Dawn liquid and I let it sit for a little bit, and then I take it apart and I clean it. But I, I need to let it sit a little longer. But this is the first time she's done the air fryer, and the air fryer does get really, really hot, so I have to be really cautious. I have to keep my eye on her because, like I've said before, she does not understand danger. And when you don't understand danger, you are a danger to yourself. And so you have to really, really keep a close eye on Autumn. She doesn't understand when things are hot. She doesn't understand when the water's hot, like when she's washing her hands. And this is something we've had to work on for years with her. Like don't push it back because that will make it hot or don't use the left, that will make it hot. So she's starting to learn, but it's like, she almost immediately forgets until it starts getting hot and then she pulls her hands away. So this is why we have to keep a really, really close eye on her when she cooks. We're not gonna let her cook by herself. There's just no way. She needs somebody right there with her telling her exactly what to do. And as you guys notice in the video, I do do things in steps. I go, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in here because when we explain things this way, with hand gestures and everything and also vocalization, she has a lot easier time to do it. You have to be really, really intentional when you're talking. 
because she really is listening. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't understand is she understands everything you tell her, but it's the way you tell her. Keep things simple, keep things precise, and have them the same every single time in very small steps. That's what I've learned teaching Autumn new things. People with Down syndrome and autism crave order and routine. And so if you have a routine that you follow and you have the steps that you do, it's easy for them to learn things. The only problem is it's hard when someone else is doing it and they're not doing it exactly the same. And I've talked about this before because I want my mom to start cooking with Autumn, but my mom does things a lot differently than I do. And Autumn is used to the way I do things. And I do want to re like introduce her to other ways of learning things. It's just that you have to kind of keep it simple and you have to have an order because if you don't, she'll get really, really frustrated and have a lot of behaviors and just be really, really upset and won't want to do whatever it is that you're trying to teach her. But the thing is, she does want to learn it. And even though it takes a long time and even though she gets really frustrated, she still wants to do it. She's still motivated because when I ask her, do you want to cook with me? She says, eh, which means yes. I think a lot of the times people that have kids with Down syndrome or autism, they get really frustrated so they don't even try. And I totally get that because sometimes it's so much work to teach them things. And it's frustrating and you feel like, hopeless and defeated and you're like why do I even try because I felt like that so much with Autumn but to see her face to see her light up when she accomplishes something to see how she feels about herself makes it so worth the headache of trying to teach her <laughs> anyways I'm gonna try to start a series of cooking with Autumn because she loves cooking and I really want to share it with you guys especially with the air fryer because it's a really simple thing it's just she needs a lot of help because it gets really hot and you got to be really careful but our oven is actually not working right now anyway so all I have is my air fryer and my stove top <laughs> so we got to get creative right Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned.